Porsche's electrifying transition, a sneak peek at the 2025 Macan EV. In a bold move that has sent shockwaves through the automotive world, Porsche is embarking on a substantial shift toward electrification. The company has announced its intention to make over half of its Porsche models hybrid or fully electric by 2025, with the goal of achieving an 80% electric lineup by 2030. This means that, with the exception of the iconic 911, the vast majority of Porsche vehicles will soon be exclusively powered by batteries. Don't forget to subscribe for daily content. Porsche's electrification journey kicked off with the Taycan, a groundbreaking all-electric sports car. The next chapter in this electrifying saga is the 2025 Macan, which will mark the first of Porsche's existing model lines to transition from internal combustion to electric power. To give enthusiasts a glimpse of what's in store, Porsche recently offered an early test drive of Macan EV prototypes. These camouflaged mules, despite being slightly outdated due to newer hardware developments, were around 90 to 95 percent representative of the upcoming production models. All of these Macan prototypes were built upon Porsche's premium platform electric architecture, a platform co-developed in collaboration with Audi. The PPE platform is set to underpin most of Porsche's and Audi's future electric vehicles, offering versatility that spans from sports coupes to three-row SUVs. The architecture features a novel lightweight power box that houses the AC charger, battery heater, and DC-DC converter. The PPE platform's flexibility allows for a wide range of electric offerings. The 2025 Macan EV is expected to be available in three trims, the base Macan, Macan S, and Macan Turbo. It's worth noting that, while electric vehicles don't have traditional turbochargers, Porsche uses the Turbo moniker for the highest performance variant. The base model will offer rear-wheel drive and all-wheel drive, while the S and Turbo models will come exclusively with all-wheel drive. Under the hood, or rather, under the floor of these electric Macans, are three distinct electric motors. All three AWD models share the same front motor, while the Macan and Macan S utilize a common rear motor. The turbo model boasts a larger, more powerful rear motor. The braking systems also vary, with the base model featuring 13.8-inch front rotors, the S with 14.8-inch front rotors, and the turbo with massive 15.7-inch front rotors. Rear brakes remain consistent at 13.8 inches as regenerative braking takes precedence in the rear, especially in electric vehicles. All U.S. spec, Macans will come equipped with air suspension, primarily to meet the legal definition of an SUV by allowing for off-road mode rather than as the sole suspension choice. Rear-wheel steering will be an optional feature. The Macan EV ditches the two-speed transmission found in the Taycan, as the new motors provide ample torque across a wide range of speeds. Notably, the rear motor in the Macan is located behind the rear axle, a nod to Porsche's rear engine heritage. This placement achieves a near-ideal 4852 front-to-rear weight distribution. This setup not only allows for rear-wheel steering, but also affords additional legroom in the rear of the vehicle. While Porsche's engineers remain tight-lipped about certain details, we can confirm that the 2025 Macan is larger than its predecessor, with significantly more rear seat space. The range, a crucial factor for electric vehicles, is estimated to exceed 500 kilometers per charge on the European cycle. However, official EPA certification figures are still pending. Charging the Macan's battery is a breeze, with the ability to charge from 5 to 80% in just 25 minutes, making it competitive in its class. The vehicle employs an 800-volt electrical architecture, allowing for rapid charging of up to 270 kilowatts. The Macan motors are permanently excited synchronous motors, which offer advantages in terms of size and weight compared to other electric motor types. In terms of driving experience, the 2025 Macan EV retains the essence of its predecessor. It offers an on-center steering feel and seating position reminiscent of Porsche's current gasoline-powered Macan and Cayenne models. Handling is exceptional, thanks to the instant torque provided by electric power. The range-topping turbo model impressed with its performance, but was let down slightly by the all-season tires it was equipped with during the test drive. Porsche has an unconventional approach to regenerative braking, favoring a sailing strategy that emphasizes coasting when lifting off the throttle. 
While other manufacturers opt for more aggressive regenerative braking to maximize energy recovery, Porsche contends that sailing is more efficient, despite evidence to the contrary. Inside, the Macon's interior remains partially concealed by camouflaging, but the steering wheel and digital screen draw inspiration from Porsche's existing design language. The digitized display has a nod to Porsche's heritage, resembling the curved three-dial cluster found in classic 356 models. These Macon EV prototypes felt remarkably close to production-ready vehicles, retaining the familiar Macon experience while embracing electric power. With its practicality and sporty characteristics, the Macon EV is poised to continue Porsche's success story in the electric vehicle market. Don't forget to subscribe for daily content. Stay tuned for a more comprehensive review of the production version of the 2025 Macon EV. And the electrified future of the iconic Boxster and Cayman models is sure to pique the interest of Porsche enthusiasts worldwide.